All right, we are going to make a small pot of neck bone soup. If you notice, I have been making um, some meals that are pretty like old Southern um, traditional meals, kind of the things that I discussed with y'all a while back that I was gonna start doing a book, a recipe book, and it's a family recipe book. And if not just for the public, more so as a family keepsake, of all the different dishes and recipes that our parents and grandparents used to make us that we just sometimes miss and people don't remember the recipe but i do <laughs> um however you change recipes to make them your own a little bit so we got beef neck bones here we have four big pretty meaty beef neck bones that have been cleaned with vinegar and wash kind of scrub with lemon vinegar and water so all i'm gonna do right now is get some seasonings on top of these and set them to the side for a couple hours to absorb all that good flavor i'm gonna use some tonys because i tend to like my soup a little on the spicier side savory but spicy Towards the end of my grandfather's latter years, this ain't coming out. Um, he used to prefer, it was so funny, he used to prefer spicy food. And I don't know if it was because he was watching his grandkids or what, but he used to, he used to say, uh, let me have some of them, them Cheetos y'all eating on. They would be flaming hot. And he's sitting there, I would come in and visit him. My grandpa, 90 some year old grandpa, sitting there eating a bag of flame, <laughs> bag of flame hot. Or if he'd see me cook something and he see I got peppers and stuff in it, he want to taste it. I said, Where did he get this from? End of his life, want to eat all hot food. But he liked it, so he started adopting doing spicier dishes. Because he was still cooking, y'all, up until his last day. So that was onion powder. And this is black pepper. I usually will put garlic powder on it as well, but the garlic is uh, gonna be added to my Dutch oven. So it'll have good garlic flavor. So I'm just gonna rub this all over it. Put it to the side. That's it for that part. All right, y'all, I got baby Big Red out. This is my baby pot, because I don't need no big old pot. So in there is some avocado oil. I'm gonna put in those carrots, onions, red pepper. I would normally put celery in too, but I didn't have any. And didn't feel like going by the store, y'all, but celery doesn't go in there. They cook down for a little bit. Just until it gets kind of glossed over and translucent. Once the vegetables get here, so we're at the, they're not completely soft, they're just glazed over a little translucent. I'm gonna add in a little bit of minced garlic. Just until it's good and fragrant, because y'all know that garlic will burn on you. All right, I have took off those vegetables. I have added some more avocado oil in the bottom of in my small, my baby's big red. And now I'm just putting the neck bones down into the pot here. I want it to sear on each side. Couple minutes on each side, then we'll go from there. Okay, I'm gonna flip them over. Can you see that? that nice color, caramel color that's getting on there.
just a quick flip. So now we got good color to it. this cook down for a little while maybe about 40 minutes and then I'm gonna start adding back in the veggies I'm gonna add in some diced tomatoes mixed vegetables we'll go from there but I want this to kind of cook down first while it's cooking down I am gonna add some better than bouillon paste into here And I'm also going to add another teaspoon of garlic. Once it comes up to a boil is when I start skimming a lot of that gunk, extra fat. I want a clean bone broth basically. Just take your time, skim it, little by little. All right, so it has cooked for a while. The meat is starting to get tender. So I'm gonna go ahead on and add in my peppers and my onions. That added down. I'm also gonna add in some petite diced tomatoes. And I am gonna put in some tomato paste. And I'm gonna let it cook down some more before I add in a bag of mixed vegetables. All right, our meat has gotten way more tender. As you can see, I've deboned a good bit of it. I'm gonna take the rest of those bones out. But I am going to add in a bag of mixed vegetables. You can also add in 
Y'all know you can cut up some white potatoes and add you some potatoes in if you like. I don't really like white potatoes like that in my soups, so I won't be putting it in here. Um, I don't want potato and cornbread because I am serving it with cornbread, so I'm going to leave the potatoes out this go round. But uh, that's where we coming along, y'all. Well, as y'all can see, I added them white potatoes anyway, y'all. I realized I wasn't making the soup just for myself, so I went on and added it. Don't it look good?